everyone, Genome here. Can I tell you about my next mystery unboxing? And what mystery am I unboxing this time? I have absolutely no idea because this is one of the vaunted Amazon mystery boxes. Pick this up right here in scenic West Virginia from a buddy of mine for $50 exactly. Uh, weighs about 20, 25 pounds. So I'm very curious what's in there. I have no idea, but you can see it over here on B-roll. It's a quite large box. So let's just go ahead and get in there, shall we? All right, so we have just cracked her open, and you guys get to see the first. You guys over there get to see this first. What treasures lie within? Well, first off, we got something called Zorfan, and El Boogeyman. I have no idea what these are. Um, oh, wait, okay. Mexican-inspired rando charms, men, women, party favors. Okay. And what we're going to do is I'm going to put this box down here and put the stuff on the table so you can see it. Gently so. Okay, so here we go. Yep, that's showing up there. Okay, we have a soil tester. Uh, what I've always wanted, or maybe for the really big turkeys, if you need a turkey thermometer, maybe that could work, but uh, we have a... I, so, soil tester S1, 401 soil tester, environmental illumination, soil pH, soil moisture content, and soil temperature value. Great value to the horticulturists out there. All right, I am not heat. Uh, what do we got here? Some sort of gigantic doily. Um, clear plastic tablecloth, table cover. Uh, looks like something you see at grandma's house. Uh, maybe a shower curtain, but it's not a tablecloth, so. Okay. This looks quite pink. Something to do with a unicorn on a pole of ill repute. Uh, best blanket unicorn mom. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I'll be opening that. Okay, we have, looks like, some of the technology gloves. Uh, oh, no, these are arthritis gloves. Fashion love. Fashion love. I wonder if they meant fashion glove. Uh, kind of interesting. Possible typo. You uh, don't need to applaud that. All our bases are belong to us. Um, okay. I don't know if those are the technology ones you can use to swipe the phones, but it does say arthritis gloves, what that means. Very tight on the wrist for some reason. Okay, what do we got next here? Skin tag removal kit. Okay, for those uh, aspiring home uh, dermatologists, uh, there, you, there you go. There's a skin tag removal kit. These are completely random mystery boxes. Uh, we got some sort of gold box here. Intensive Nourishing Ginseng Berry Essence Mask. Um, well, pretty gold packaging, I guess. Oh, I'm tearing a box. So there goes my retail value. All shot to Hades. All right. Okay, it's a pack of like 10 of them, so... All right. So if the package is any indicator, there should be a golden value right here. Okay, I'm going to run out of table space for I run out of merchandise, it looks like. But we'll keep going. We have pet hair removal comb. It's very well packaged. Okay, try this again. It looks like a paring knife. Nice and sealed. I guess I'm gonna have to tear it open to get to it. Okay, so we have a <laughs> instrument of destruction. Looks like a whale comb, I guess. I don't know. I think I got two of those. Let's see. Yep, another pet hair removal comb. Sweet action. I have no pets. Maybe I can use these on the fish. All right, so I don't know how much they're gonna appreciate that. Oh, this looks decorative. Um, Flipyard Christmas tablecloth. So it looks like a for people who enjoy the primitive stuff. Uh, tablecloth of some kind. We have a chunk of something. Uh, okay. Griddle grease. Is this a griddle grease trap? I think this is a grease trap for a griddle. I wonder if there's a griddle in here. <laughs> 
Okay, well, we have a griddle grease trap in the future or a possible small bed pan, whatever it is uh, we can figure out to do with that. Oh, here's what I've always wanted. Confidence in my beauty. Um, this is a Deathens Messy Curly Q medium auburn mix. Some sort of hair thingy. Is this a bun? I can do the Princess Leia like I've always wanted to do. I hope there's another one in there. Uh, appears to be on a clip and it looks kind of like a triple. So, uh, what's that? <coughs> ah, yes. All right, well, don't tell Kirk where you are. Okay, so there is my hair care product and it also comes with, I don't know what this stuff is. I guess accessories for it. So, I'm leaving the triple out because he's mighty. All right, don't eat the quadratriticale. Okay, what we got here? 18 pieces, half round ant flower vegetable. Well, there's a uh, descriptor. And it's taped. I I have no idea. <laughs> There's a package full of this. Is it something you put together? Oh, you know what I bet these are? These might be, um, I'm guessing like vegetable steaks for vining plants maybe? Yeah, I bet that's what that is. Which is kind of cool if that's what it is. This is supposed to go right in here. The hex is not cut too well. There it goes. So if that's what it is, you keep your plants off the ground. So that's actually kind of cool. Uh, I hadn't done a garden this year, but interesting. Since you can't see what it is, I'll put that one off to the side. Because I'm running out of real estate here. We got uh, Fezia Merry Christmas. Uh, wooden Easter Day picture frame. Okay, this is a picture frame. It's almost like a shadow box, but it's, I guess like this. And there is, oh, is this a puzzle? It's like a picture frame, I think. I think there's a puzzle in here, because you got like a, the light's probably washing out, but there's, there's stuff in here, supposedly. So, okay, we have a picture frame, very thick one. All right, what do we got here? This looks colorful. Oh, wow! Quartz clock with projection. Oh, a projection clock. Interesting. Okay. Seven color-changing lights and music. All right, there it is. Let's just pop that sucker open real fast and see what we're dealing with here. So exciting. I can have unicorns on the ceiling. Okay, yeah, it's a little cube. Uh, I guess cute for the... Uh, Young kids. Of course, there's no batteries in it. Some very quality looking winders here. Uh, in case of nuclear uh, destruction, I'm sure we can use this with some batteries. So, okay. For all you Fallout fans out there, you'll know what I'm talking about. Okay. Make sure it's right. What do we got here? We have each one of these, which is kind of nice, has a little tag with a descriptor on it. Because most of this stuff, I have no idea what it is. Uh, honeymoon, sand, keep. France. We hate the French. Tart shaped glass. There's letters missing all over the place. I have no idea. Um, see, I hate to open this. It loses, it loses a lot of value when you open things like this. Imagine the resale on some of this stuff. Festive. I, I don't know. It says happy. That's all it says is happy. It's a happy box. Honeymoon. Is this like... What goes in there? Sand? I... We have a sand thing from our wedding, Mr. and Mrs. I, I don't know, but you put sand or <laughs> the tears of, of single them. I don't know what it's going to be in there, but uh, there it is. Uh, we're ready for that. Uh, oh, wow. Um, okay, now we got a mask here. The picture on the front and the actual design made me worry a little bit. Um, I don't know if you can see that picture, <laughs> but I thought it was a cod piece or some sort of fetish piece, but it's not. It's just a very fancy mask. I hate mask. Piss off mask. Much anger in him. All right. We, we got something here. It's in bubble form. This is Safety Technology Coca-Cola Can Safe. DS Coke New. Oh, I do hope this is like a new Coke can. 
I've been talking about some of the old sodas lately. And this thing is wrapped <laughs> in a protective cocoon. Seriously. Okay, we're halfway through there. Okay, okay, now we're going. So this is a can of Coke. I have no idea. The only thing I can think of, is there a bottling date on this? It says Coke.com and there's a uh, uh, scan a code. I can't think of the name. Oh, a Q QR code reader, I'm sorry. Thank you for my off-screen assistant there. So it can't be that old. I don't know what this is. Is this like a replica? Sorry, I threw its protective cocoon away. Um, safety technology Coca-Cola can safe DS Coke, new. Is this like a, a can so you don't hurt yourself opening it? I, I don't understand. <laughs> it's delicious, or refreshing. The only thing, I, it looks kind of strange is when it said about new Coke or whatever, that's like the old new Coke uh, font that they used to use. I have no idea what this is. But it's cold and there's fluid in there, so this is going right up next to the Crystal Pepsi. Uh, but for now, it's right next to the Tribble. Do not drink. Alright, um... I... what the... Live like a king. Hustle like a boss, live like a king. This is two sheets, black man iron on patches for clothing designs, black king, do itself heat, transfer decals and clothes. Your guess is as good as mine. Oh, I guess you put these on t-shirts, right? That's if that's your thing. Probably isn't mine, but I mean, no, if that's your thing. Uh, tower curtain? Oh, yes. um, summer plastic. Tablecloth for beach. I'm sorry, the, the, the text is all jumbled up. It's just a thin kind of plastic tablecloth for you beachcombers out there. In case I spill that new uh, safety coke, I guess I got something to catch it. All right, we got a lot more to go, as you can see over here. Um, football. This is soccer or something. Football. Soccer. Um, geekism. Soccer. Shin. Socks. And injury with an IE. Uh, one. Oh, there's two shin guards in there. You look pretty small. Medium size. I guess for the future FIFA person. I don't know. I don't play soccer. Oh, this is hideously vile. All right, what do we got here? Wow. How do you say old lady without saying old lady? Table runner lemon seasonal fruit. Table runner. Gorge. In fact, my gorge is rising looking at it. All right. Uh, I got some sort of mask here. Cute. <laughs> Let's see the spelling on these. Uh, cute. Pocket Monster Snorlax Eye Mask Sleeping Travel Games. That's a mouthful. Uh, it is sealed, so I'm not going to bother opening. Oh, there's like a little face on it, I guess. But it's just a travel sleep mask, it looks like. So exciting. Seeing as I never fly, I'm not sure I'm going to wear that. But okay. Uh, we got Guild Fall D or Fall Decorative P Cover. Pillow covers, squizzy pillow covers. Okay. Uh, looks like I can make one of these out of here. It's like burlap sack, though. It's a really weird material. Um, I don't want to open them all up, but. Oh. We get the primitive box or what? Okay, these are like throw pillows. Okay, so that's not as bad. Still vile, but not as bad. No, I'm just kidding if you like it. But, uh, oh, meet me at the pumpkin patch. <laughs> Isn't that just adorable? Um, yeah, so we got some throw cover, or throw pillow covers. Moving on. Uh, Holmex. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's just like a, I think for hanging decorations, like little doodads and... I know what this is. This is a banana holder. I came with that all by myself. Um, this is not storing cribs, so that's probably a good idea. Um, banana holder. Okay. Okay. I'm keeping that down there. Um, this, oh, this is velvet. 
Okay, this says Halloween hair clips, skeleton, spider hair prints. I don't celebrate Halloween, so I'm not gonna bother even open that. Plus, it's got a velvet pouch that I can't stand to touch, touch, touch a velvet, so away we go. Um, what do we got here? Non-slip bathtub shower stairs. Oh, okay, so grippies for the shower. Just grippies, it's kind of interesting. Yeah. They say random box, they're not joking. Okay, we have some sort of, <laughs> it's in like 19 languages here. Um, looks unopened. Oh, okay. My lucky tag, QR code, location, alert, email. Okay, I gotta see what this is. It's probably tracking software from TikTok. All right. Quick start guide. What is this thing? I think it's something for pets is my guess. Service dog. Okay, it's a service dog tag. Hopefully it's not a suppository, but I think it's okay. Just for their okay, it's not either they had to swallow it or, or insert. So I guess this will become a handy case of my goldfish jumps out of the tank. So goodbye. Um, whew, that's bright. Pop fidget. You know we've been getting these at work. Um, these pop fidget things, not so festive looking, but uh, there's a whole bunch of them there. Dual brush markers, so pretty standard. A couple, we have, I think, two packages of these. Uh, this one ain't fancier, dual tip brush pen. So we got the fine work here. The markers there for the fill-ins. I guess you get a nice, if nothing else, a re-gift. Okay, I gotta reallocate. I see something very funny in there, by the way. Okay, what do we got here? Ah. Um, any design doormat so it's an autumn pumpkin doormat I am not going to unroll this thing <laughs> I guess it's okay it could be a bathroom mat maybe it's not too thick but uh, okay I'm running room on the table still so I got some more gloves um, winter touch screen gloves okay so these are the ones I thought the other ones would be so want some gloves here you go. Not that there's anyone over there. All right. Uh, okay, we got some sort of toy. A crash stunt car. Uh, what can I say? It's a toy. I don't know what it does, if anything, other than look pretty. So, okay, we have some sort of party thingy. Graduation yard sign. Okay. That's pretty popular around these parts, actually kind of thing so I actually have a person I might be giving this to right this summer too um, we're gonna put it back in the box so I got no room for it so we got a mystery box here <laughs> we got two of these which is so cool but we already have something very similar this is a electric rat zapper and we actually have the um oh what brand is that it's the really famous uh brand of mice of mice traps and um Victor, I think it's made by Victor. But we already have a bigger one than this, and there's actually two of those in there. So uh, these could be great gifts for those with rodent problems uh, or infestations. <laughs> it's it's something, man. It, it'll kill a mouse. You wouldn't think a 9-volt battery can kill a mouse. It'll kill a mouse. Sometimes several. Uh, okay, we got... Plunger Valve. Okay. Uh, Usually that's for toilets, so we'll see if uh, I have some toilet fixture stuffer. Toilet fixture stuffer. <laughs> O-rings. Yeah, we got ourselves a, uh, a toilet plunger uh, valve. In its defense, it looks fancy, uh, much fancier than any normal one I've seen. It's kind of yellow. I don't know if it's been used. <laughs> Okay, interesting. Okay, so we got the toilet plunger valve, so you never gonna have too many of those around the house. Okay, we're down to basically the last thing in here. Um, what lies within? I guess I could read the tag, but I'm not going to read the tag. I want to be surprised.
not very heavy. There's some styrofoam in here. Maybe it's a Surface Pro, the fold-up kind. I'm gonna make a big mess, aren't I, here? I don't want to. Come on, you're embarrassing me. I'm trying to keep it one piece, but it's pretty thin styrofoam. There we go, okay. Drum roll, please. Editor, drum roll. All right. Oh, it's a skull bowl, I guess. <laughs> it looks anatomically correct, I suppose, and pretty disgusting. Uh, let's see what it says. I think this is it. Joy Learn Skull Flower Pot decor for home or office. I would love to put this on my office desk and bring people in, or basically people who want to apply for the state jobs. But uh, there you have it. There is the vaunted uh, <laughs> mystery box from Amazon. As you can see, there is a lot of stuff in here. Um, could be a lot of regifting things. It is all over the place. The only thing I'm most interested in is the can of Coke. I can't figure it out. And it's kind of dirty, which is weird. Like there's some schmutz over here. It doesn't feel very safe. It just feels so light. I don't know. Eh. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. This has got me so confused. It doesn't seem like they'd use a licensed product anyway in one of these. But anyway, this is the mystery box. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Is this something you would uh, drop 50 bucks on? Uh, I, there's some gifts here to re-give to people. Uh, for those of you with the... Uh, uh, the, the decorating fetish of the 1950s, you got a little bit of that in here, and uh, toys, sodas, pens, <laughs> I don't know, there's no rhyme, I thought they kind of built these things with a kind of theme in them, but apparently not, these are just straight things that will fit in this box, but hey, we got enough uh, boxes here to kill a whole bunch of rats, so that's good in case we ever get mice in the house. There's this raccoon with a shower cap on. So I uh, appreciate you uh, coming along with me on this amazing journey of mystery and intrigue. And uh, if you want to see more content like this, just let me know in the comments below. Well, until next time, this is Genome, just getting his list of re-gifting together for very near future.